Good morning, Vinyl Community. It's me, JC. How's everybody doing? Guys, I am doing fabulous. I am in such a good mood. Uh, and I've been watching the videos all week for my contrast entry. So cool. So many great new channels I've been introduced to. Uh, I just absolutely love it. And I love, 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 love that it seems like the people doing the video are enjoying it also. I hope that is true. It seems like they're enjoying it. I don't think there is anything uh, more gratifying than paying it forward, um, showing some love to other channels, which I love to do. And that's what I'm going to start off this video with. I'm going to talk about two of my new favorite channels um, that I absolutely adore. And uh, hopefully you guys will like them too. So just check them out. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Check them out, see if, they, if you dig them also. The first one is going to be uh, Jeff Witcher's Vinyl Destination. And I apologize to Jeff that I found him late in the game, uh, but I'm just glad that I found him. He is so great, and he is hilarious. Uh, he's got a very deadpan delivery, but he sneaks in these jokes, like he did a video about Ann Murray's Satanic album, and I was dying. I spit my coffee out all over the table. Thank God my uh, girlfriend wasn't home. She would have been like, what the hell is going on? Uh, but it was awesome. Jeff, I love you, dude. Your channel is amazing. And I can't wait for you to drop more videos. He drops about 50 videos a day, it seems. Uh, every time I blink, he drops a video. So there's countless amounts of entertainment. Uh, he's not really 50 a day, but he drops a lot of video and it's really great. Now, the other one who happens to be her birthday tomorrow. So everybody go to her channel and wish her a happy birthday. And that's Kate from Kate's Crate. She's got two videos. She joined the VC uh, by watching videos of Frank and Melinda uh, and Noble Records. And she decided, you know, she decided during the quarantine she was going to start collecting records. Kate, that is what we love to see, my friend. We love new people joining the party. Uh, the more people that collect records, the better off it is for us. I know some people think, well, that's going to lower the supply. But the more people collecting, the more likely these record companies are going to um, go give the blue light for, you know, audiophile pressings of albums from the 90s and deluxe box sets because there's more of an audience buying it. And hopefully the record companies will understand there's more people buying it and also up the supply. So Kate, happy birthday, my friend. Uh, I hope you have an amazing one. Welcome to the vinyl community. Everybody go wish her a happy birthday. Okay, guys, so today I am going to, um, you know, I was watching a video from another one of my favorite channels, The Vinyl Den. My two boys over there always cooking up some good content. And they had a, a video that was their biggest regrets. I think they called it album regrets that they didn't buy, right? We all have those. You know, and I, and I wanted to go, I didn't want to go monetarily. I mean, some of these hold large monetary volumes, but just I'm going to go with ones that bummed me out that I, I should have bought. I didn't pull the trigger. I was an idiot. And now I've lost out. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, Vinyl Den, for the idea. Hopefully other people can hop on this thread. And it'll be a great one. All right. So just to throw it out there, there was a day back in the 90s, late 90s, and I was in a hot topic, and they had a stack of AFI, Sing the Starros, and Marilyn Manson, Antichrist Superstars for like $12 each. And I probably should have just bought them and put them aside, but we're not going to count that one. Because that one was solely monetary, <laughs> even though I do love AFI, Sing the Starros. All right, so my number five was one that was released in December of 2019. And I saw it at the record store. And I was going to buy it. It was the Grateful Dead Blues for Allah Mobile Fidelity Pressing. Why didn't I buy it? Because I do have a first pressing of the Grateful Dead Blues for Allah, which I will never part with. It's such a fabulous record. Um, and I was like, oh, it's like $70. I don't know if I want it. And I didn't pull a trigger. And then I went home and I thought about it. And I was like, just go get it. And I drove back to the store and it wasn't there. Now, I could probably still find this record. Uh, when I go on Discogs, the low is $49. The, uh, the median is $87. And the high is $120. But you know when you could have got it for like $70. And now people are charging $120. You're like, pretty stupid. 
I should have just grabbed it. And that was my number five, Blues for Allah, Grateful Dead. My number four is the Charles Mingus One Step. This just came out a few months ago, guys. Most, they did something weird where half the people got it earlier in the year and half the people got it later in the year. Um, I should have got it. So that one, 169 is the is the the lowest, 180 is the, the median, and 321 is the highest. Now, I have heard rumors. I haven't met anybody, but I have heard rumors that there are people stockpiling the one steps and not opening them. I you know, to resell down the road. I hope that's not true. I hope people aren't stockpiling these things. I wouldn't doubt it if it's if it's happening, but, you know, that's kind of crappy. Uh, so that was my number four. My number three is Rat Detonator. Okay, so this album was pressed in 1990, and it is by far not the greatest Rat album. It's not terrible, but it's nowhere near the best. But it's definitely the most rare of all the Rat albums. And it's the one Rat album I'm missing. So let me tell you the story. Happened this summer. I was at a flea market with my son. As you guys know, me and my, my boy Carter, we go out Sunday crate digging. And I had already spent, we were at this flea market. And I, and I was at this booth and I spent a ton of money with that guy. And so I was running really low on cash. And I really had set myself a budget. Like, you're, once you spend this cash, you're done. You're not going to go to the ATM, right? We all have budgets, guys. My son's going to go to college one day, right? I got to put money in the college fund. And I'm about to leave, and I see this guy's got this, not a huge thing of records, a little thing of records, and I'm flipping through, and there's Rat Detonator. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. You wanted 50 bucks for it. And I said to myself, you set yourself a budget. If it's here next week, come back. I went back next week. It was not there. Totally bummed me out. Now, when you look on Discogs, it says that the low is 54, the, the median is 75, and the high is $89 for that album. But I'm going to let you guys know that is extremely deceptive. And here's the thing about Discogs. This is my tip of the day. When you look at those prices, you need to click on because 90% of the people selling Detonator is from overseas and they have $35, $40 shipping. If you do get someone in America, they instantly tack on 40 bucks more or 50 bucks more than the Discogs price because they know that people feel safer if they live in America purchasing from America and they're just jacking the price up. So the Discog prices for the 80s hair metal is, always click on it guys. Always take a look. The shipping prices are ridiculous. I mean, I'm going to buy a $50 record and pay $50 shipping. It just doesn't make sense to me. And that's my number three, Rat Detonator. My number two is Morrissey, Live in Earl's Court. This was a live album that came out in 2006. I had the opportunity to buy it. I live in Massachusetts, guys. And one of my friends was like, hey, let's take a day trip down the Cape and we'll go thrift shopping. So we... He, him, just like me, we both collected records. We spent the day thrift shopping. And before we left, we hit this uh, record store in Hyannis. And there it was, Earl's Court, $26. At that point, it was not out of print. But I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, you know what? I'll just grab the CD. You know, And I bought the CD at the point. Went home. Absolutely loved the CD. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And then struggled ever since then to find a copy of that on vinyl. Just to give you an idea of the price, the lowest it sold on Discogs was $182. The median's $237. The high is $426. It seems like whenever I see this record, someone's asking three to $400. So pretty crazy. I totally missed the boat on that one. Okay, and my number one regret was, it actually came out, guys. 2019, June 7th, the Black Crows Tall Session. I saw this up for pre-order. I slept on it, woke up the next day, went online, pre-order was sold out. Just to give you an idea, the low is 95, which is not bad, considering. <laughs> the median is 190, and the highest is 371. I have not seen this record you know, at all, even close to the retail price, which I believe was $39.99. So crazy. Why did I sleep on it? 
The Black Crows Tall. If you don't know that album, guys, The Black Crows, they were at two lost albums in between Southern Harmony and The Musical Companion and what would become Amorica. They recorded an album, scrapped it, took some of the pieces, some of the songs from that album to make Amorica. And the same thing happened, I believe before Lions, but it happened twice in their career, believe it or not. And they released that as a double album called The Tall Sessions. And that is what those lost albums were intended to be. Now those um, fragments of those albums are appear on other albums, but it's interesting. Uh, and they're not like demos. They really sound good and there's some great songs. Um, I would just go check it out, guys. You can probably stream it on YouTube. All right, so thank you, The Vinyl Den. You guys rule for a great idea for a video. I will join you guys again Monday with Vinyl Finds, but I believe either Sunday or Monday we're going to pull a winner for the contest. Um, so good luck to all my friends out there. Um, you know I love you. You know you rock. Go check out some of those channels. Go check out Jeff. Go check out Kate. Go check out The Vinyl Den. Doesn't cost anything, right? All right. Love you guys. Peace.